Uh, just a quick video here for you folks. Um, I wanted to put something together here of a very good uh, high altitude balloon footage showing our flat earth. This fellow right here has put together a good one. Um, I'm just going to take a few segments out of it and stick it in this video. You can go there though to see the entire thing. Okay, back over here to uh, JW's beautiful bean footage. It's high altitude balloon. Again, nothing to see here, folks, except for the uh, two great lights created by God, the moon and the sun ball. Search in vain, you'll never see uh, ISS up here. This is a great guy right here, Mike Decker. He usually uses his P900 to uh, film the chemtrails up over Wyoming. So this would be the moon's orientation above Wyoming. Uh, looks like a day ago he turned it to the super worm moon. And from Wyoming, you'll see this crater and these craters in this position up top. If you're in the southern hemisphere, which really means, let's not get it twisted, if you pasted this on the ceiling and walked from one end of the room to the other, it would appear to be upside down, okay? It's not really because you're going on the upside down of a ball. It's just your perspective. But uh, the reason I'm bringing this up, I think last week I had a comment from a Ball Earth believer uh, that stated he had a uh, telescope image of the moon. Uh, and this was a rebuttal to my argument that during the eclipse, you would see a Bailey's beads, which is supposed to be the light trickling away off of the mountain ranges on the moon. I mean, up here at the 1 o'clock position, I guess you could claim mountain range. It's not really smooth on these limbs or sides of the moon. But it's perfectly smooth over here. So when you see Bailey's beads coming over here on the eclipse in 2024, because of your orientation, if you were to film it, and not just here on this rugged surface, that should be a clue to you. It's not the moon causing the solar eclipse. Wake up, folks. Time's getting short.